Good morning guys, it's Friday Finds and today I'm going to be talking about the books I've been reading in 2019 so far. That's right guys, I can read. Itchy nose, let me cut that out. Maybe not. Okay, there's basically three or four ways that I read. I'm gonna start with the way we all learn to read, which is analog. And the first book that I've been reading and that I challenged myself to read is a book on design systems by Ella Kolmatova. Please forgive me if I got the name wrong. It's basically a book about design systems and it really is thorough and she really has spoken to some of the biggest names in the industry and I'd highly recommend that you get your hands on this book. It's a fantastic book. I think it came through Smashing Magazine or one of those. It covers why you would do things, what you need to do, some of the nuances that you'll experience, and it's all got expert input. Now, my trick for reading is I go and I calculated that this book has almost 300 pages, and then I go and I say, cool, if I divide that up by a month, that is 10 pages that I need to read a day. That's how I've been getting through this book, is reading 10 pages a day, every day, and I will complete this book by the end of the month. The next way that I read is on my iPhone. I'm listening to an audible book by Jake Knapp called Sprint. And this was a recommendation from AJ and Smart, which is basically how they are operating their business right now in conjunction with Jake Knapp. How to run a sprint, which is something that Jake had figured out while working at Google. How to run a sprint in a week. And it's a fantastic read and I'm listening to it in the car and I listen to it when I'm at gym and it really is a good way to, to get through a book where it, I would probably lag if I had that big fat book but this is a good reference book so that's where I'm probably going to struggle when you use Audible as, as a reference it does get a bit tricky to try and go back and learn something that they've taught you that's more of a process. The next book that I've been reading is on Kindle. Designing products people love, how great designers create successful products. And it's by Scott Herf. And he's a product designer. So he's used a lot of great examples at really big companies on his successes and failures and so on. And it really is a fantastic read, The Next Gem. The Envision series of books, which they've got at the moment six books, which they've got Enterprise Design Sprints, Design Systems Handbook, Design Leadership Handbook, Principles of Product Design, Design Thinking Handbook, Design Ops Handbook. These are all great reads. You can go and read it on their website, but they recently did an e-publishing uh, format which is how you read them in books on your iPad and on your uh, MacBook and so on. Vision's killing it for me like they got great software, incredible learning material, their Design Disruptors movie was like an eye-opener for everybody I know. I have so much love for them just for that and then they've got like all these like reports that they do and then they've got this series with Bradley Frost and a bunch of other really smart fellows who are working on design systems. I would love to work there. I love using their products. I'm just loving Envision right now and they gave me pink socks. I mean, who can argue with that? We all need a pair of pink socks somewhere. Those are kind of my general reads at the moment. I read a lot. Not only am I watching YouTube videos all day and reading endless blog posts, but yes, I read a lot of books, eBooks, audio books. I read a lot. And while this is very much design related, well, it's the only thing I really think you'd be interested in. Of course, I do read other stuff, but this is both my job, my passion, and I guess I'm a little obsessed. And uh, yeah, 
what great reads. Have a great weekend. I hope you have some time to kick up your feet and open a book and read something. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment and stay cool. Oh, and the reason why I've got this new backdrop is because I'm busy filming my Skillshare class and I just didn't feel like people would want to look at my kitchen for 20 or 30 lessons. So I built this makeshift set behind me on one of my walls. But we'll probably be returning to my dirty dishes soon. Till next time.